I'm definitely not the most successful reseller out there. I'm not even the most successful part-time reseller out there, but if I have any success at all, it's only because of these three things. Won't nobody love you the way they should. Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good. Won't nobody check those body cameras by your neck. All really what, what is that? Oh yeah, that's my man. <laughs> what is that? That is breakfast. I wanted to show you this beautiful mug that my friend Fiona from Gray and Mauve made for me. She designed it for me um, using this cute little phrase that my husband came up with. Let me know in the comments if you can tell what his inspiration for that was. Um, I will have an announcement about these coming out, but if you want to be mug buddies with me, uh, that can happen here very shortly, in the near future. And my husband is the one that came up with the little slogan. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> First, let me show you something really sad that happened. <laughs> this was a clothing rack, but it broke. And so all the clothes are on the floor. Uh, this is all stuff that I had to iron anyway, but oh my goodness. And that is a minion toy in the background. So this is all stuff that still has to get listed. That's perfect. Thank you. Napkins and utensils.
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as long as you're having a good time. Okay. Watch out. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Sandwich. <laughs> You want that one? I want some of it, man. And I will take this one. Yeah, I'm for nickel sandwich. Yeah, I'm for nickel sandwich. My turn. No. Okay. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh
what is it called? Froyo with her cousins. And so uh, we are going to be doing that. I do have pretty lofty goals for myself for this weekend, however. Seller Insight, they had this thing on their Instagram, just like a little, what are your goals for the weekend? And because I like put it out into the universe, I want to do my best to try to meet those goals. And I think I said I was going to list 50 items, cross list 50 items, and try to make $300 this weekend. So thankfully, I've already sold a $60 Everlane jacket. I have sold a few pairs of shoes. I mean, there's a lot of sales that have come in. I think I've already made like a, at least $100 towards my goal. So as far as like the amount of money coming in this weekend, I'm doing pretty good. But I need to get to listing. So I think yesterday I listed like eight items i'm not even sure and i think i cross listed like four so what i did last night is i went ahead and drafted like 40 or 50 listings onto poshmark so that i could just do those listings at night after the kids go down um, or if i can find time throughout the day to do it because i think actually at night i want to try to put this vlog together but um I do need to cross list and that's something that I want to try to focus on throughout the day because it just takes a lot out of me. You guys know, and I'm going to show you really quickly if I can get it up. You guys know, oh, that's my uh, seller insight app. I'm just trying to see what sales came in. Okay, so this is my only sale from today, but let's see. Yesterday I made two sales. Um, yeah, it was like this dress here. I'll get the pictures up for you. Oh, maybe I can't. But yeah, yesterday I sold this dress for like 20 I think and these sandals for 28 um today I sold this pair of Uggs on eBay let's see on eBay I had a couple sales I sold yeah this Everlane jacket look at that 60 bucks and I sold this uh pair of Keens those were sales from technically the weekend so we'll count those so we're not doing bad but I have a lot of listings to get done and you guys know that I love using lists perfectly and so that's what's up on my computer right now. I've got all my tabs open. I'm cross-listing. I got a lot of cross-listing to do so that's what I'm going to be working on. Let me know if you guys made any goals for the weekend and if you were able to achieve them or not. But if you are not happy with where we are, then you can recognize that we need to keep going beyond globalization. Okay, so to give you an update on how I'm doing for my weekend goal. I had said that I was going to cross list 50 items and list 50 new items. And I was going to, I was going to make at least $300 in profit. I think I did that. I think I did the $300 in profit, like close to it. At least I made $400 in gross sales. So I think, I think pretty close to 300 and you know, we still have a few hours left in the day. I've listed around 25 and cross listed 27. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do any more just because I do want to finish this video. If anything, I did some cross listing today. I didn't list anything new on Poshmark yet. So I will at least try to list a couple new things before I go to sleep, maybe while my video is uploading. But yeah, I mean, if you want to see for sure if I hit my goals or not, I guess you'll have to come back later this week for my what sold video and I'll share with you there. But today was a great day. I also had, I don't know, I don't know why I act like there are more than 24 hours in a day, but I also had the idea that I would photograph some shoes because I've got like three boxes of shoes that need to be photographed and I you know start going to work every day except for Wednesday starting tomorrow I've only been having to go in twice a week for the past few months but um, I've been ha I'm gonna have to start going in every day and so I wanted to stock up on pictures so that I would have them to list and I wouldn't have to find time of the day to photograph. Uh, didn't look like that was going to happen. That's okay. I'll just have to photograph a little bit here and there when I can. So that's where we're sitting for the weekend. It is like 846. So like I said, I'm going to try to finish this video and then I'm going to try and knock out some more listings. I'll let you know at the end what I end up, you know, being able to accomplish. But definitely the second thing that I attribute to any success that I can claim as a reseller is consistency. Consistent listing leads to consistent sales. It is not the most exciting thing to hear. It's not like something that you can do at the flip of a switch. It's the truth though. If you want consistent sales, you have to consistently be listing.
Let's do it. There were a couple other plushies in the bag with him. I'm not exactly sure which ones of the ones I'm going to show you were with him. Secret number three is this. Have a good balance in your life. To be honest with you, if I'm not careful, I could spend every waking hour working. I could spend every waking hour sourcing and photographing and listing because reselling is one of those rare things where, you know, the amount of time and energy that you put into it, it directly affects what you get out of it. And because I like seeing, you know, the amount in my pending on Poshmark and the amount that I've earned in the last 90 days on eBay, I like to see those numbers go up. I like to see the numbers, you know, go up in my bank account. But if you don't have good balance between your reselling business and your family, oh boy, oh if you boy, have oh another boy. job, oh um, and especially yourself, if you're not taking care of yourself, then your reselling business doesn't matter. And so I would say probably the most important secret that I could share with you is to have good balance in all aspects of your life. You know, spend time outside, spend time with the people that you love, spend time doing anything other than reselling. And I think that's one of the most important aspects of being a reseller. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comments below. I feel a little unsure of it, just because I typically don't do a lot of vlog style type videos, but hopefully you enjoyed seeing a little bit into my life and what it's like to be a mom, what it's like to you know, resell on the side, all that kind of stuff. And if so, I'd really appreciate a big thumbs up. And I'd love it if you could subscribe if you aren't subscribed already. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.